Welcome, everybody. Happy Fourth of July. And we're looking pretty good, considering we're 245 years old today. I'm not going to try to sound louder than the fire and than the sirens today. But here comes our police department leading our parade. And a thank you, a big, a big thank you for the Haverhill Police Department that worked so hard to keep our streets and ourselves safe. And we don't want to forget the, we don't want to forget the Grafton County Sheriff's Department that do so much. And then along comes our veterans, led by the American Legion Post number 20. And let's welcome Ava Boudreaux, who will sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proud twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting beautiful rendition of our national anthem.
Meryl, and you're going to have to handle it to me as you see it, that they come. As I have mentioned, this is the Woodsville Ross Post, American Legion Post number 20. And right behind them is our Haverhill Memorial BFW Group number 5245. These are our superheroes that have in the past given their service to keep us free so we can have this American 4th of July today. Thank you, veterans. And this is our VFW Post 5245. And right behind the marching veterans, we have DAV with veteran Earl Arenberg, who is in his 90s and still very active in the BFW. And right behind them is our BFW Auxiliary Post 5245. Thank you, ladies and fellows, for supporting our veterans. And now, Grafton County Nursing Home. They do so much for our elderly, taking care of them for all of our loved ones. And then let's enjoy the music of our summertime marching band. young folks that are having the joy of their life riding in the fire truck today.
flags come along, it's a Vermont Civil War hemlock. Vermont, the Vermont Civil War hemlocks honor the Vermonters from 1861 who helped save the Union during the Civil War. They portray the 3rd Vermont Infantry and 1st Vermont Light Artillery wearing the same wool uniforms and carrying the same equipment that New Ham Vermont and New Hampshire soldiers did during the war, right down to their socks. The flag you see is an exact copy of the 3rd Vermont National Emblem covers and the Vermont emblem painted in the center of a blue field, just like the original at the State House. The artillery is a section of cannon known as a three-inch ordnance, rifled from which is the same cannon that the first Vermont used in the Civil War. Welcome, Vermont Civil War hemlock. It's a vision, it's to be a, a community organization committed to supporting and celebrating the health and welfare of all people. The mission is to encourage, educate, and inspire people to reduce substance abuse and promote a healthy community. And then we, then we have SC Lawn Care from East Rygate, Vermont. It's a local small business out of East Rygate. They offer a wide range of services such as lawn care. And then we have the Wells River Fire Department. <laughs> Connecticut Valley Snowmobile Club. I hope it doesn't snow for a few days. And then we have Shadow Valley Oil out of North Haverhill, established in 2020. Your only small business heating oil company that offers discounts to our seniors and military service men and women. Give them a call and check them out on Facebook. Pleasant Valley Campground, our lucky boat. Our campground is located on 70 wooded acres with spacious campsites in Tickle Naked Pond. We have family, children, and tent family. Camp with us this summer in a tent, RV, or our rental camper. Believe in putting America first and keeping New Hampshire red. from the North Grafton County Republican Committee. And then we have two fire trucks from our Lisbon, New Hampshire Fire Department. And followed right behind Lisbon is Bradford, Vermont. And then comes our neighboring town of Bath, New Hampshire.
And another tanker from Bath, New Hampshire. They all work together to help when we are in emergency. This is with This is We just missed the other side is a classic rock cover band playing songs from the 60s to today, covering a large, a broad range of music that all can enjoy. And here comes Christy and Jack Kennerson. They're celebrating the 4th of July with Jazzy Children's Fund. They're being told the, the float is being pulled with a 2004 John Deere 510 tractor. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Yep. And here is our Grand Marshal. And here's our Parade Marshal. Our Parade Marshal is Dale Pearson. He's riding with his lovely wife. Dale has been very busy with volunteer work. He belongs to the Haverhill Memorial VFW, and he has held several positions of interest there. And next comes Rygate Fire Department, followed by Bath Fire Department. And this is a, a float from the Woodsville Guarantee Savings Bank. Is happy, grateful, and thankful for their community, just like you. Bank employees pr printed both of the panels on their float to celebrate the big and little things they're grateful for. Happy for. Well, we've got a couple of minutes. I want to let everyone know about our Grand Marshal, Glenda Hoffman. She has been in this interested in working in volunteer work and helping both Wells River and Woodsville community for many years. She does a lot of things that are unseen in our area. So our thanks to her, and we are so honored to have her in our parade today.
Thank, thank you, Mount Sinai number three group. We love to see you bi bicycle, and you do such a wonderful job on charity work. What is this one? No, this one is this one's the one right here. And here's Will Wesley Blaze hauling a number 57 four cylinder race. No. And here comes Monroe Fire Department. Okay. Here comes the number 57 four cylinder race car from Bear Ridge Speedway. Been racing for three years and they have their third place and just won their first race last week. <laughs> and here's Samantha Merritt from Haverhill. As she says, come watch me race at Bear Ridge Speedway on Saturday night. She has the number six. And then right behind her, we have Havel Corner Fire Department. Represented with three units from the Haverhill Corner Fire Department. And he is back to life with our beautiful animal float. That is beautiful. And we have race cars 07, 53, 52. Travis Burroughs. Substance Abuse Prevention Coalition. 
It's concerned citizens that are across the Whitsville and Haverhill communities that come together to educate us and prevent future drug abuse. In the Northeast Two Cylinder Club. His well service savings bank. God bless America. And God bless our American heroes. And here's Woodsville High School. Boys basketball team, Division Four or D. Jamie Walker's Coach of the Year. Congratulations, fellas. And it's his two fire trucks from North Haver Fire Department. Don't forget our North Haver Fair, July 30th and 31st, Born to Run. Recycled Percussion will be there. Thank you so much. And here comes Cottage Hospital. Cottage Hospital and you are better together. And as they say on their van, they're our hometown heroes, superheroes, that make us well and give us all the care that we need when we are sick and need to be in the hospital. the Ray of Hope, and the Health, Roe Health Center, all represented here. And he's Jerry, Jeremy Huntoon, Sports Modified, Bradford, Vermont, Bear Ridge Motor Speedway. And he's America's original superhero from the Oxbow DAR. We have so many superheroes right in our area that do things 
to keep us safe and healthy. Frank Hoffman in Pike, New Hampshire with his landscape design. And here comes Woodsville, New Hampshire. D4 State Championship. Congratulations, girls, for a successful year. And here's a 1950 Buick Special, owned and driven by Matthew Nunn of Bradford, Vermont. Cheer up, folks. We have some that are coming along just a little slower than the vehicle. Our farmers are America's superheroes. The Little Rascals 4-H Club is a club that works with beef and working steers. These kids are excited for this year's show season. They had their first 4-H qualifier show last weekend. Each kid has spent almost 300 hours training and caring for their calves. Their calves are four months old. Yeah. And they have their trailer right behind them so when they get at the end of the parade, they don't have to lead them back. And here comes Welser vs. Chevrolet. It's all local and far away heroes during the best year, the past year, and many years ahead. Thank you to all first responders, military, and retail workers. You are our heroes. And then we have Wentworth Police Department. Wells River. Woodsville Wells River. 
And that, folks, concludes our 4th of July parade. Thank you and have a safe day, safe traveling, and God bless.